Ahmad, I heard what you say. I accept what you're saying. Yeah, but do you agree the Quran says that? Listen, I accept that, that that's what the Quran says. Thank you. Right. Okay, now that's listen. That's all I was asking No, hold you. just a moment. Just Oof, a moment. This is, this, quite, is quite quite an effort to get you to this is quite important. This is quite important. You see, one has to understand something again, that Quran is supposed to be a final word, right? And the final word doesn't mean what? It means that the verification of anything esoteric regarding human nature. Esoteric. Now, esoteric experience... What does the Quran say is to do with just, anything just a moment, esoteric? Just a moment, let me finish, please. Could you substantiate your claim? Yes, of I course, of you. course. Yeah, I'm not anything, familiar with that claim, anything, by the way. Anything, the Quran deals with everything anything, esoteric? Anything, anything that comes, not, anything not, comes I'm from not God. With that. Anything comes from God. You're not familiar with it. Well, the, the, the so, thing is, you, you the, the, the problem is. What, like what do you mean by? I have one. I have one. It's okay. But oh. what is that you want? To, what is that you? No, it's just you said that the Quran talks about everything esoteric about human beings. Because of uh, course. Can I just finish? Can yes. You? Yes. It's something. If you mind doing me a favor, when you. You don't have to do this, but I'm just asking you if you wouldn't mind doing it. When you make claims about the Quran, like that, would you mind just telling us where in the Quran it says these things that you're claiming? Okay. Because it's I'm very not, simple. Hang on, I'm not familiar with all the things you're saying, and I've read the Quran, I'm not an expert, yeah. but I just don't recognize. <laughs> you're right. Cool. The Lord. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Got myself involved in a conversation yeah. which I don't okay. want to be in. First of all, just a moment, just, yeah, a, moment. A, just a moment. Please don't make a show. Um, do you know about the debate tomorrow, the do Michael you, Brown debate? Uh, Michael Brown and Zaka Hussein. Do you see God? No, I'm looking at you. No, no. Yeah. When you answer the question, do you have a problem to answer a direct no, question? I did say no. It's, no, okay, no, I, leave I, it there, leave it there. No, no, I'll leave answer it there, the way please. I choose. No, way. yes, but no, so this is no, a very simple question. Yeah. And my, okay. simple, my answer was no, very simple. No, I ask you, do you see God? And, and my answer and, is no, I okay, see Okay, that's you. it. Yeah. Okay, so here's my question. If you don't see God, it means that the entire experience of divinity is an, an entirely a... Um, in, a internal experience, the experience of your soul is an experience that is inner one, it's not external one, it doesn't mean are you telling I'm not me finished. what my experience I am not finished, no, me? no, okay. I'm saying You're generally speaking, me. generally speaking, just like even the revelation of Muhammad, all the holy prophets, most of when, every time there was a vision, are you a Muslim, just a moment, are you a no, I'm not, you're, a you're interrupting, no, I'm which is rude, okay, I'm just okay it's rude, are you a Christian? let me finish my point, okay. let me, would you allow me to finish my point? Therefore, therefore, the whole experience of divinity is the experience of the internal nature, the inner experience, which allows us then to see the work of God externally. However, the initial impulse regarding anything spiritual is an inner experience in the first place. So when you ask me, show me in the Quran what it says, actually the entire experience actually that, that, that you, according to Muhammad, has received, was actually the experience through astral world, which was through visions, through not through direct experience, because it was it was not directly from God, but it was through an angel, which you claim to be Gabriel. That's one, and two, many of them was in the dreams, which is that's where the soul is actually located in the astral world, which you can only come to understand when you understand the difference between the external self and the internal self, or the inner self and the outer self. Therefore, when you're telling me, so I'm so here's another thing regarding Islam. Okay, okay, Hold okay, on, okay, just okay, a moment, just a moment, okay, just a moment. Okay, okay, let me speak, please. There's no, no, to be a discussion. no, because now I want to show you no, the no, Quran is I, entirely the Quran. Would you let me, would you let me speak? You're asking me about show me the Quran. You're, you're so just I'm, talking at me endlessly. No, no. The, you are, sometimes they tell us a bit structure. Okay. Sometimes they tell us structure. It's not just the one break. Will you let me speak? I will. Thank you. Sometimes thought is not just the one break. Sometimes a mud hut. Sometimes a thought is like a castle or temple. Yes. So I'm trying to say to you the Quran, if you correctly understand, in fact, can be looked at as a, as a structure that one has to understand entirely through inner self, not the outer self. Go ahead, speak. Right. My question to you is, are you a Christian? Yes, I am. Right. And what do you believe about Jesus? What about Jesus? Uh -huh. Okay, so we're diverting right now. Excuse me, can you just answer my question? Yes. Because you are quite strict in me not interrupting or changing okay. the subject. This is relevant. Are, are you a Christian? Do you believe Jesus is God? Yes, of course God right. Jesus is God. And you believe Jesus died on the cross for your sins? No, no, no. You no don't, 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 put, don't put words I'm in my mouth. I'm asking you. No. Do you believe that no, Jesus died on the cross What do I believe regarding Jesus? You can ask. So I can tell you. Christ, Christ, oh, Christ is that being... Oh, no, 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 don't. Thank you, Nazan. <laughs> Do you believe Jesus died on the cross for your sins? Is my question to you. Jesus showed us the way to overcome our mortal state. 
So right now, as you are, in present moment, you're in a mortal state, yes? We're all going to die. Okay. Then, hold on, you ask me a question. Christ showed us how to overcome it, how to overcome our mortal state. How do you how, on Just the cross? a moment. How, how he was the, on I'm the not finished talking about Jesus, uh, so I'm okay. telling, let me tell you. He's dying on the cross. His flesh died on the cross. However, Christ himself then descended into a abyss to resurrect every single holy prophet, every soul that experienced death, including Adam. So whoever experienced death was then brought out of abyss through Christ because he was the one, he, hold on, he was the only one with power, with power to overcome death and death was powerless in, in, in regards to his life. I didn't ask you, I think you're, you're preaching a bit, which is your, no, your, your you're right asking to me. do so. You're asking me. Um, so the Christ. question is, why did Jesus die on the cross in your view? So I just told you. You didn't hear me. No, I didn't. So explain okay. again at the beginning. Okay, I will be very slow. Yeah. Because we are in a mortal state, yeah. therefore we know what death is. Sooner or later, we are all going to experience death. Now death itself is a being. It's a being which is going to claim you. Death is yes, a being. Of course it's a being. It's a Everything is a being. Tree is a being. Death, Nature is a being. Is a thing, is Nature is a being. Death. Sun is a being. Death, Everything is a being. Death has a personality and ontology. No, 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 no listen. It has now a, you're speaking, an existence. Now you're speaking in a human way. Yes, it's I am. an entity. I'm a human being. I death, can't help it. Death is an entity. And because it's the same entity, Can it be an entity, of course it's an entity. What do you say? It's course. very simple because it's not a thing. Uh, no, I'll give you an answer. I'll give you an answer. You ask how can it be entity? Because uh, how it's a thing. you ask how can it be an entity. So let me tell you. Because the, because this before this world was created, everything that was created was created to eternal realms, and eternal realms in itself are eternal realms, realms. A realm. Yes. Now all those realms. Have, they're all actually filled with beings and, and the being which human being knows is the being of death death itself you can see it says in the Old Testament which Muslims are supposed to follow says it's entered they then enter upon the, the, the eating the fruit of knowledge that has entered so actually when you say to me how can it be being how can it enter the, the realm of I man so of course it does I, read it read it's the book of Genesis I, 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 of course please read it so so that that is a being and Christ okay. showed us how to overcome our mortal state how, how does he how did he show us to overcome our mortal state by renouncing ourselves in our present manifestation therefore everything because we all we all have sinful thoughts we all have uh, violent thoughts okay, we all how, have how does jesus do this you, i mean you give me the theory by renunciation what does that mean self renunciation right so, that so, we renounce so we renouncing excuse we, me hang, hang on a second yeah. how did, i don't understand why in your view how jesus death affects that because jesus of like jesus could just be a wise teacher who could teach us to deny ourselves like the problem Muhammad did you say no that would be like, like a, a, example you know we're not we're not supposed to give in to our nafs our desires we're supposed to submit to god now jesus of course taught the same thing because he was a muslim prophet but what, I, muslim what, prophet. what i don't understand is why now you're preaching your, he was not a muslim no, prophet go ahead what, 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 excuse me what, what, why why does why does Jesus have to die to demonstrate that when simply teaching it like it's, it's very like the simple I don't it's very it. simple it's because that because Christ came to the world as in his own words he said follow me I am the way so what is hold he on the way you're asking to? questions what is he the way hold to? on you're asking questions you're not asking questions you're not asking questions listen, you're not, you're listen not let me no, I'm not preaching I'm trying to show you logic you I'm trying no I'm trying to show you logic and I tell you why I'm not preaching you're not going to hear it anywhere else think listen privileged. listen listen yeah, yeah, yeah. Think, think for a moment of the of the women somewhere in Africa right now living in the worst hell holes in the world where they're being raped to us dark when they have no they have no escape wouldn't they say, God, take this cup of suffering away from me? They would. So when Christ came to the world, he came and he addressed everyone. He came those who are being tortured, who are being abused, who are being, uh, who are being killed, and those also who have things. How does he he help came people? to address everyone. How does he help That's people why he came. who are being tortured? I, don't, I, really, I genuinely don't get this. You don't, he, I know you don't get a, it. A guy, a man I know who you don't get it. No, I don't. A man who I know, amazing. Go the man who, who lived 2,000 years ago, in yeah. your view, who died on the cross, in your view, somehow this helps a woman in Africa who's been tortured. Can you explain to me how... It's because she what knows what he meant. 
when Christ, I told you, he was, he said, he, I'm the way, the truth, the life. What is he the when way he to? said the word, when he said the words to God. Uh -huh. So What's because we're in a mortal state, first you have to overcome mortal state. The reason why you don't see God right now or the angels or the heavenly realm so is because women you're in a mortal state. So coming back to your example, a woman in Africa being yes. tortured, how does Jesus, your belief in Jesus' death on the cross yes. help this poor woman in Africa being tortured now? Because she knows what he meant. What did he mean? He meant that, the, that the burden, the burden of uh, evil in this uh, world uh -huh. is so unbearable for any soul. Uh -huh. So when this woman, for example, if she's being let's say, tortured or raped, whatever else, yeah. when, she heard, when she knows that she was having spoken, she said the same words. And the God, the, the God, has entered the heart of every human soul. Yeah, how is she so helped? she knows it. No, no, how Those words know? were never spoken what, what before. Does she know? What does she know? That the words came to the world the that she can relate to. What can she? I don't get. How does what, that help? What, what is she relating to that will help her being the tortured? The unbearable, the burden of evil. Right. So I'm a woman being tortured, and I think what to help you me? think. You think, of course, if you be really tortured, which obviously is being hypothetically right now, obviously, by the way you're ignorant by the posture, if you really will be tortured, you will obviously want it to end. And if there will be no way for you to end it, so how does, because there will be no will, hold on, because there will be no will of no, I don't your own. Get it. How does your message help her being tortured? It's because then she understands that actually that there's a path laid out, that she's going to lose hope when she's going to say, God, you must have abandoned me. So let's say she's a God-fearing so woman. She, she, Hold she on, you're her. asking a question. Okay. Let me give you an answer. Uh, I'm just following Hold it through on. very carefully. Hold on. In, in yes, exactly. So when you say, when you say, you wanna join how would you help? When I because see you, she will know that she's such a woman, for example, okay. or child or it's man would be, Anyways, God, you must have abandoned me. You must have, uh, let's say she's a God-fearing person. Let's say, what have I done? Do you know about the debate? There's a debate tomorrow. This is tomorrow? Where? Um, you, oh, sorry, this is uh, you, you see, you see. They're going to experience hopelessness. They're going to experience abandon, being abandoned. They experience all those things, and yet it's the path to God. How is feeling? Let me uh, You see, what you said here is a woman who, who feels completely abandoned by God, and you think this is a path to God. I don't get it. It doesn't make it's sense to me. It makes and she's sense. been tortured. It makes sense. I don't get it. It makes sense. Because, because what the Christ said, you see, I understand you don't understand. I don't. Things. Okay. Christ himself said these words, my kingdom is not of this world. Yeah. Whoever belongs to God, whoever belongs to God does not belong here. So remember, we're talking about a if woman a, in Africa who's fridge, been tortured. Food, How is she helped nice by that? House, that okay. means you belong here. All right. If your fridge is empty, if you're hungry, if you're an orphan, if, you don't, if you're hopeless, that means that this is not your world, and that means when God said, this, my world is not of this world, that means you, you belong understand? to God. Right, so, it, so I, I actually, I, I'm not being funny here, and I'm not very bright. I actually don't understand what you're saying. I don't understand amazing. how a woman in, who's been tortured in Africa could have this kind of knowledge, that's not knowledge. She well, speaks the same knowledge. words like Christ. Yes, but you see, saying, if a woman says and feels, I'm abandoned by God, she's not helped in any way. Her situation is made even worse by despair and alienation. Yeah, don't I, I, I don't okay. understand how this is in any way helpful it's in your religion. It's it doesn't sound your religion very helpful. It's because I told you, you believe that this world is the world that God has created. However, what, what you, was, you what don't? was you don't? just a moment, just a moment. You don't believe that? Just a moment, please. What, when Satan, uh, when Satan took, attempted Christ, what did he do? He took him up the mountain and he showed all the kingdoms of this world. And what did he say? All this was handed down to me. I will give it all to you if you bow down and worship me. 
Therefore, who is the ruler of this world? Yes, it's okay. Satan. Okay. And I, what I I'm saying to you, whoever is whoever is actually rejected by this world, that means that's already an indication for you that belongs to the okay. world I, I, of the I, kingdom I, I, of I just, God. I'll just say my final thing here. I've asked yeah. you repeatedly to uh, ex explain how, in your example, not mine, a woman who's been tortured in Africa, I'm not quite sure why Africa's got to do with it, but, why not? but she's to been exactly. tortured. You offer her a religion or a worldview that says she would be despairing, she would be alienated from God, and this will somehow be her salvation, but you've not, in my view, explained how at all. So therefore, I'm, sorry. So I'm, I'm now going to thank you very much for uh, explaining all this to me. I'm going to end the, uh, I'm going to end the conversation right? because I don't think you have explained. Amazing. Amazing. So there Amazing. you go. Maybe you know, other people can understand. You know, I don't I think, understand. 